Hello, Samadan here. Today I'm going to talk about TSM Sniper, what it is, how it works, and how to get the best out of it. Things have changed since 8.3. The auction house works differently now. It used to have a first page and a last page, and that's what TSM used to use to find the latest auctions and those that were about to expire. That's how sniping came into being, catching auctions just as they came on, or grabbing a bid just before it expired. All that has gone away since the great auction house revamp of 8.3. Sniper was also temporarily removed as a function of TSM during the Battle of the Throttle, and now with the coming of TSM 4.10, a new age of sniping begins. So what does it do now? Think of it as a rolling shopping scan. TSM will continually search your group of items for prices that match the sniper string you assign to it. Any that are below the threshold in price will ping up in the sniper window, giving you an opportunity to grab them before anyone else. There is no snipe everything option, you need a group of items. The bigger the group, the longer TSM takes to search, and therefore the chance of missing a potential deal increases. It's a fine balance between volume and speed. Think of it as a difference between a scattershot approach with a wide area of targets, where you may miss some items, versus a tighter, more focused aim, looking for specific items, ready to jump on a bargain. It will help if you ask yourself some questions. What are you looking for? Why are you looking for it? And how much do you want to pay? Also, think about can you do the same with a shopping scan? Do you really need to use a sniper, or can you just run a shopping scan every now and again? It all depends on your playstyle and what you want to achieve. Let's take an example of a wide scattershot approach. Say I want to find some pets that are below the average market price. In order to get a list of pets, I'm going to use the TSM Group Maker site and see if I can find a pre-made list someone else has created. I could of course make my own here, and that would be my advice if you want to do this yourself but for the purposes of demonstration I'll take one from here. Ok, I found one that has a nice list of pets at various prices. I'll copy the import string and head on over to TSM to import it. In the Groups tab I have a fresh new profile. I'll click Import and paste in my list of pets. There we go. Now when I look at the list of items I can see a load of pets. I'll rename this group Pets. Right, over to the operation. Let's look at the default sniper operation because it's quite interesting in itself. Here we have a big, complicated looking string, but it's actually quite simple once you break it down. Basically, it's a bunch of nested, if greater than functions, tied to the region market average price of whatever item you're looking for. The lower the price, the more of a relative bargain the item needs to be in order to get flagged. So say for example, if you're searching for an item with an average region price of 3000 gold, the string will go through the greater than functions going down until it hits one that is valid. In this case, the comparison against 2000 gold, 3000 is greater than 2000 gold, so it returns 0.2. 0.2 gets times by the region market average of 3000 gold, which in this case would be 600 gold. That then gets compared with the vendor sell price, and whichever is higher gets returned. Let's assume it was more than the vendor sell price. Basically, that means if an item averages 3000 gold across the region, if Sniper finds one for 600 gold or less, it will flag it up and you can decide whether to buy it or not. This is great for a group like our pets, because the prices vary wildly, and this string adapts its percentage depending on the price bracket. With that set up, we can now go over to the auction house and go to the Sniper tab and click on Run Buyout Sniper. At the bottom you can see the scan running, and here we have our first hit. This Duratar Scorpion has a price of 12,500, so that matched against the region market price of 27,000. According to our default function, something over 25,000 but less than 50,000 gets times by 0.5, which in this case, 27,064 times 0.5 is 13,532. Our little pet here is priced at 12,500, which is lower by 92% which is why the sniper operation has popped it up here for us to take a look at, and you can see the 92% on the right. Now we can take a look at the tooltip, look at the relative price, maybe do some research on this pet, find out if it's desirable, and then choose whether to buy it or not. Here's another one, Senjin Fetish. And we can do the same here, compare against the tooltip, research the item and make a decision. And that's how sniper works. You leave it running and it will continually search the group, finding things for you to buy. You can also change the audio notification here in the settings under Sniper. Select a sound that suits you from the drop down list. How about another example, something more focused? I've been talking a lot about relics of the past and the materials that make them. I have a small group here of potential things to look out for. I'll import this from my pastebin and let's use a more specific sniper operation. 
First, I'm going to rearrange this group a little into the exact items needed for a Relic 5. I'll take it from my table on the Wowhead Economy blog. Let's call this group Relic 5. And then I'll drag it into each of these subgroups and copy in the items I need. Now some of these you need 5 of to make a Relic 5, and some you need 7. So I'm going to make two subgroups here called times 5 and times 7, and drag in the required items. OK, here we have two groups we want to look out for. Now I'm going to use another feature of TSM, and that's called Custom Price Sources. In the settings under Custom Sources, I'll create a new one called Relic 5 Price. And I'll give it a fixed price of, say, 5 gold. So this is my guess as to how much a Relic 5 might be worth in the future. So then I go back to my group. I'm going to reference this custom source in my sniper operation. Let's take the time 7 and add a new sniper operation to it. Now I'll use the Relic 5 price and divide it by 7. I'll name this something similar like Relic 5 Div 7. Then we can make a copy of this operation and call it Div 5 and change the sniper price to Div 5. Now I need to go back to my groups and assign that div5 sniper operation to the times5 group. I'd better make sure that the parent group doesn't have the default sniper assigned. We don't want TSM searching anywhere else. Remember, Titan focused for this one. I'll do the same with pets, turn that off for now. Now when we run a buyout sniper, TSM will scan both groups and do the comparative calculations versus my relic5 price source and divide it by 5 or 7 according to the group. Looks like it didn't find anything here. I'll go back to my custom source and up it a bit so we can see it working. Let's try 10 gold base price for a Relic 5. So head back to the sniper scan. There we go, some rune cloth for 2 gold. Exactly 10 gold divided by 5. Nothing else has shown, so it must all be a bit more expensive. I've already bought my fill of rune cloth at much lower, so I won't buy this for now. Ideally, I'd be looking for not just the bolts, but the cloth itself, and change the calculations accordingly. I'd have to make a few more subgroups and operations to do that, but you get the idea. I would then have this running on a second screen, ready to snap up any bargains from my small group. So I hope that helps with understanding how Sniper works and when you might want to use it. If you do have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Until next time, happy cold making, and I'll see you very soon.